So this is um, time for the meditation. So we're all gathering here at this time with the same intention to practice meditation. So sitting upright position and bring your mind to the present moment here and now. And settling down, grounding yourself. An awareness of uh, the body sitting here and now. You may imagine that you are sitting in front of the mirror and looking at your sitting body checking yourself and any tensions are there in any parts of your body simply let them relax probably by uh, moving your limbs or adjusting or squeezing and releasing And spend some time, a you know, few moments of the breath, a long breath and relax and connect it to the body. And spend some time with the primary object, whichever object that you have been practicing with, whether it's a breath or the abdomen. And settling down, grounding yourself. And complete relaxation. And having a full knowledge clear vision of the up uh, this uh, primary object whenever it alert uh, uh, takes place your mind is alert and awake to note it as it takes place So with this way of knowing and uh, having alertness of the mind knowing the natural process of things as they occur as they takes place it's called a sabhava dhamma natural truth When we observe the natural truth, we excelled name, nationality, our culture and everything. We simply observe the phenomena as it arises and as it falls. And nothing more than that arises and vanishes. And within that arising and vanishes, there is a mind who is an observer and observing the phenomena as occurs. In another sense, the technical term used it to understand it is called knowing the mind and a matter. A mind as observer and things or objects that we observe is a matter.
We are not staying on a one fixed place, but that fixed place is simply a working station, cultivating mind, training the mind to understand the rest of other phenomena, the sabhava dhammas. Dhamma itself is a natural and simple. It's called Dhamma Da in Thai language. And also known as Dhamma Chat. It's a natural arising. So this is a Sabhava Dhamma pertaining to the natural arising and this is a Dhamma Titata whether Buddha is arised or not it exists before the Buddha arising while he was alive and after this is a natural truth So firmly establishing, understanding the natural truth is the Dhamma. Understanding the simplicity being a simple, normal. The so practice of a meditation is to learn to know this normality, understand this simplicity, and transforming ourselves from something special to be normal, simple, ground to earth, and having a mindful awareness in every walks of life, whether we walk, whether we are in the eating talking that's why there is instructions for it's called a minor a minor awareness and minor postures defecating urinating turning right turning left opening doors closing doors handling the items Pushing, placing the items, washing everything. And the mind is always at that time when you are performing the job. So there is instructions given clearly says if you are running, stop running and walk. And if you are walking, stop walking, stand. If you are standing, stop standing, sit. And if you are sitting, stop sitting, lying down. And that's how one should slow down and try to be mindful of every action that one does having a clear comprehension of every move every thing that you are doing you are washing the plates but you are thinking of another job then that may break the plates or may not be enjoying that then that is not the mindful and having a shower but you are thinking of going to do another job 
and you forgot. So that's why practice of a mindfulness meditation is to develop our quality of the mind to understand the mind who is observing, the observer and observed the objects or the activities that you are taking. The more you become a mindful, you become a softer, and every action that you do, you, be you become a mindful and you will perform with a great respect to all, everything. That's why practice of a meditation is not just a sitting on a cushion, but ability to be mindful on the move. We spend more time on the move than a sitting. So we have to utilize those moments observing, acknowledging and noting, observing, acknowledging, noting at all the time, all the moments, by seeing and watching, seeing and watching. And we do not, as we watch, we do not hold on to any experiences that we come across. We simply observe, acknowledge and note and let it go. And if you're lost in the mind, lost in the thought, again simply come back to the primary object that you've been working with as a home base. So this is how we progress and practice. So continue practicing until you hear the gong. <laughs>